world leaders take turns trashing Trump before he lands in Davos. On Thursday morning, Donald Trump is expected to make his debut at the World Economic Forum meeting in Davos, Switzerland. Depending on how much Fox and Friends he got to watch on the flight over, or how long the line is at the local McDonald's, the notoriously travel-averse president may be a little crabby when he arrives in that s before he finds out what the foreign mess keynote speakers are saying about him. Since the event kicked off on Monday, White House cabinet members and senior advisors have attempted to make the case that, against all evidence to the contrary, the protectionist, unilateral, anti-trade policies espoused by the man who brought us Trump stakes are not actually at odds with everything the annual gathering stands for. President Trump will reiterate that a prosperous America benefits the world, National Economic Council director and noted Stockholm Syndrome victim Gary Cohn told reporters on Tuesday, adding, the president believes we can have truly win-win agreements. America first is not America alone. Unfortunately for Cohn and company, thus far, no one seems to be buying that particular load of, as they say in Davos, fair SKE. Ahead of Trump's arrival, World leaders have essentially used their speeches to take turns shading the 45th president as America first approach. On Wednesday, German Chancellor Angela Merkel said that, as a country that wants to help solve the problems of the world, Germany don't think shutting ourselves off and isolating ourselves will lead to a good future. In order to solve current and future problems, she said, multilateral solutions should take precedent over unilateral protectionist course s of action. Merkel, who was last seen attempting to explain to Trump how trade agreements work editorial that, despite her reported patience, failed miserably noted that it was a multilateral response that helped to curtail the global financial crisis. Earlier in the week, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi kicked things off by calling protectionist trade policies worrisome, telling a crowd of government and business leaders that isolationism is not the answer. Hours later, the Trump administration announced that it would slap solar energy cells in panels with 30% tariffs. Elsewhere and you know exactly who we were talking about remarks, Brazilian President Michel Temer told an audience, when we are closed within ourselves, we are closed to new technologies, we are closed to new ideas, to new possibilities, and we therefore remain closed to actual effective solutions to our shared problems. Even French President Emmanuel Macron, who was said to play a key role in convincing Trump to attend the globalist orgy, and who recently scored an invite for a state visit, told a group of leaders that in order to rein in the excesses of global capitalism, world leaders must create a new framework based on cooperation and multilateralism. Team Trump appears blissfully unaware that the world in general, and Davos participants in particular, think it's policy sick. On Tuesday, in response to the news that 11 nations, including Canada, had reached an agreement on the Trans-Pacific Partnership sans the U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Nuchin told reporters that the administration is a fan of bilateral trading agreements and that anyone who wants to do trade on a reciprocal basis with the U.S. is free 